Hello guys, welcome back to Brotherhood 101 Podcast. This will be another table talk session for today. And the topic for today is Meat Cartel Scandal. Have we been eating kangaroos <laughs> and horses, bro? Like, yummy! <laughs> I think we have. I think we all have. So right now, this is such a huge topic in Malaysia, in our community, yeah. and we are also involved in this situation. So right now, I'm asking you guys, uh, okay, right now I have few articles right now for us to actually look at it and then to understand whether, what is this whole issue about because this is such a hot topic mm. tapi like i feel we still don't have conclusion uh, for this topic for now for now, for now. yeah so one of the headlines that we, uh, we could gather is meat cartel scandal 15 reports lodged with johor police so this is in johor the summary of this is uh, in johor baru there's 15 reports saying that uh, they are asking the you know Joho punya government lah basically to investigate on all this meat yang from all the suppliers and all this meat cartel one of the f- amazing fact ah yang I've recently read they have done this for over forty years bro. It's crazy. Over forty years. Yeah, I think we all know so, that. So what is big players? Okay, uh, right now, I don't have the information to give you. I don't know who's... No one, no, 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 no. Mm. It has to be someone big. So right now, this is one of the headlines uh, that we have. So, Skarani, do you guys have anything to comment on this headline? Basically, it's so just... we have... Right now, the, the only uh, body that we can blame is the government, I guess. So, because we have yet to found the big players that are behind this. Uh. Yeah, it will take them a long time to, to source it out. Or they just choose not to. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. No, the thing is, 40 years. Yeah, that's a long time. No, that's a long, long time. time. But how come, takkan we don't know how, you know, the meats that we eat taste yeah. like. So like, I mean, probably they, they, they cure it before. By, by the taste, it's going to be hard uh, for you no. to differentiate no, whether um, it is. Let me just put this in. The meat, would be mixed with halal certified meat and repacked with fake halal logos. So they mix oh. it. Mm. They uh, so they mix it lah to so make it. They like processed stuff. Uh, basically. Exactly. So there are sheep meat and some halal meat. So it's 50-50, that kind of shit. Oh. Yeah. Um this is based on NST.com. Lah. Okay. Yeah. We are citing a proper news update. So it's not like the fresh, fresh meat that you with the tulang and all that with the bones. They could claim that it's fresh but we have no idea, but they could be from Zimbabwe or <laughs> Zimbabwe. Or yeah, because Zimbabwe. Uh, that's a good point. So, because no. they uh, the cartel has reportedly been operating for over 40 years and imported meat from non-halal certified slaughterhouses in a few countries such as Brazil, Bolivia, Canada, Colombia, Spain and Mexico. Oh, Zimbabwe tak ada. <laughs> Zimbabwe, no. <laughs> it's okay. Probably Zimbabwe. Maybe in the future. Okay. Zimbabwe <laughs> is different continent bro. Yeah. Kita ada only yeah. the North America dengan yeah. Europe. These yeah, countries have kangaroos? No. <laughs> in, in which country? <laughs> you still don't want to let go about the kangaroo. Right? <laughs> My kangaroo is in New Zealand and Australia that you can find ah, them. Yeah. So probably so, we are getting the mix from them that we are, I mean, it could, uh, it could, could be like, that. It could like when you say meat cartel, it is like not the restaurant, a, ah. not the uh, restaurant, not the restaurant. It's like the the big boys that import meat from everywhere they take. You see, so this is just assumption, lah. It's not facts, so mm. I don't have this fact, right? But what I think is, it could be like the cartel di Medellin bringing <laughs> to the states. Marcos? So it's like this cartel di meat, <laughs> uh, <laughs> cartel di meat. From Malaysia, would we'll bring in meats from uh, Australia, Zimbabwe, Brazil. Oh, you still Malaysia. So they just change it and uh, mix it with halal meat. Yeah. And then there's the thing: you you are buying fake meat. You are being, you're buying diseased meat. It could be very cheap. And kat sini they masuk to Malaysia and they change it to halal and they can sell it 
like 10, 15 times. Yeah. It could no, be more. I don't what, have the what, I, what I want to know is, is it like an international syndicate? Is it only just happening in Malaysia or is it happening everywhere else in the world? As well, well, as, as, for now, Asia, yeah. as for now, yeah. we, uh, we are the only country. Can we, like, get, can we get a freaking meat expert <laughs> to come in? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, no, kalau, kalau disease meat, Mm-hmm. It doesn't just affect Muslims in Malaysia. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Everyone. It affects everyone. You know, yeah, and but there was yeah. there was some people saying that they are they brought in disease meat as well. Yeah, that's yeah. not good for not uh, just Muslims. Uh, everyone. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I just have to say something because just now before we started this podcast, uh, our one of our cast member Aki made a good. Uh, no, sorry, you you Daniel, right? Mm-hmm. You read somewhere, like when we are talking about this, we are I I think the Malaysian media itself are focusing so much on the non halal part. Mm-hmm. But like if we take it into a bigger and wider perspective This is meat that is For example, you are trying to buy beef But you are given kangaroo Horses So right now it's not a matter of halal or non-halal anymore yeah. Like because it's for the general public yes. So if, if our Chinese friends, our Indian friends Our Kazakhstan friends are buying all this meat They are basically paying for beef but they are getting kangaroos and horses. No, I, I, I don't think no. it will, I don't think it will be that obvious when it comes to like I mean everyone can tell the difference between I I never no, I tried kangaroo. People, I never tried kangaroo, but I assume it's a dark meat like deer. Mm. And but, stuff. But I'm sure you eat a kangaroo, bro. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lucy, Lucy. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah, Lucy is dark meat. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, if you process that meat like kangaroo meat and horse meat and turn it into a nugget. No one can tell. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. No. So I feel like this meat cutter up situation probably when Akif explained more just now. So it's like mixing of real meat and also all these horses and kangaroo meat. So probably it's in your mince sausage. meat. Yeah, mince meat. Sausage, yeah, that you use nuggets, your pasta for. Meatballs. Yeah, yeah. meatballs. I think we're trying to be meat police here. Let's do, let's let's do this together. <laughs> meat police. It's not trying to be meat police. It's trying to like probably share our. Opinion I thought we already have police in that. You know, that's to certify the. You know. That's okay. Uh, that's uh, apparently, nice they're not. They're not uh, you know? working for. Uh, so we to say that this thing uh, halal or non halal. So, that's a government yeah, body so that back, says. Back to the story or continuation to the story. It was um, they brought in this meat, and they certified it as halal. So if you guys, if you guys Google the thing now, okay. When was Who this? Halal <coughs> certification in Malaysia. Uh, Can you guys read it? Yeah, okay, it's, it's a government we, body. We won't say it on it's a government online, body. But if you can see, you can see. Uh, I'll surely show you. Uh. <laughs> okay. So but it's a government body. Y'all know, like you know, you know. So then they say that they were. There was a story where I, I'm going to quote Aisha Rizwan, senior government officers responsible in ensuring that halal standards are met have received money and women for sex as bribes. Wow. Well, that's the trigger point, I guess. I mean. Like so, right? Yeah. Right so, that so goes corruption, the corruption. Corruption. So, la. it's back to who gives the halal certificate. It was the government body that we I showed to you guys. But where does all this uh, information? Who who was the one that started off this? You know, brought up this thing that you know really is. Oh, you know, who this. was the first one to expose it? Yeah, to expose uh, I don't this. Know. Yeah. One I don't. Know. Probably it has been a while. Oh, she, she, she got you know, it has been so long. So. <coughs> No, I want to see this. I guess yeah. it's that's how it happens. It just revealed by itself. Can um, this be another political move by you know? <laughs> okay, like we <laughs> have already said ourselves. We're not, not trying to be political. Yeah. What? We're not, we're not gonna talk about politics, religion, and what what not. But let's talk about. But yeah, I mean, like, but, but we, we are can, talking about okay. the government. Our government itself here. You know, like you are not. You are questioning, like the legitimacy whether this product. Yeah. Is going through the right process, the halal process to mm-hmm. get that halal process certification. You know, how is it like? You know, because like, you, you remember you when, the we meat started, industry. when we started the coffee business, we wanted to get the halal certificate, and I know it's, it's not take, easy. It's not easy. So the know? process of getting the halal certificate is actually strict. It's tough, mm-hmm. and you can ask anyone. I'm sure you guys that starts a business, a restaurant, or what to get that halal certificate for your product. It's not easy. It will Sorry, take you more than three to six months just to get yeah. that certificate. Unless, well, if there's if there's hanky panky and money and the unless you got connections, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, some, if you yeah. are from the government body, I say, bro, I'll give you five million and three girls every three nights. Uh-huh. Will you take it? <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> I think I mean, they would. I, I mean, it had been really yeah, the news yeah, is I, like that, lah. Okay, okay. Right. Okay. okay. Can I say something about yeah. this? Whoa. Aku, okay. For me, I think it goes back to the people. 
um, like basically I agree with the point that you brought up like you know the government body who actually give all these halal certification to me their job is to do one thing to protect the people from what we are consuming so that like that is part of the orang punya department punya job <coughs> betul tak? Yeah. giving all this halal meat to ensure all the people are eating halal meat mm-hmm. okay so but when we you know when we found out about all these officers taking bribes taking and taking yeah you i mean, think you, you yeah. we question the whole yeah because i think on one up. article i saw they are taking bribes from 150 ringgit to 5000 ringgit mm-hmm. only tau 150 to 3000 ah 150 to 3000 yeah. sorry So you are taking those bribes, like those amount of bribes, in and you are not understanding the consequences. What will happen to the whole population of Malaysia? I, I think it's been happening quite, uh, no, quite it, a number it, of times recently. Hold on, mm. remember about the immigration case? There was mm. this dude driving all these fancy cars, and mm. oh, yeah, he was yeah, not. Yeah, that's a big corruption case as well. They they mm. um, they got him. Yeah, they, they locked they locked up a lot of the different immigration, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what, what about the Macau case about bribing the police officers as well? Yeah, the Macau. So it all comes back to corruption. Corruption, right? yeah. 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 So corruption. I think the government just released. They don't want to have any more corruption. So if you report the corruption, you will get the reward based on how much was that money involved. Oh, so like a reward yeah. system if you report yeah, corruption. Yeah, but then that was just an initiative for yeah. them to. To fight corruption lah, but then you all know, um, 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 that is the same thing every year, right? If there's an issue, somehow, as much as I don't want to say, when you just talk about meat product itself, okay lah, meat is probably the hardest thing that they probably have to go through the process to get the halal certification. You know, compared to other products because it's a uh, comes from life, yeah, yeah, livestock, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Then I guess you're gonna have to question the whole every other whatever products that have been halal certified, lah. You know, exactly, yeah. You're yeah, not no, coming. You're not just to... talking about halal certification. We're talking about um, no, no, but that, but that's the thing. You're being in a business. You know, yeah. if you want to go, uh, I mean, if you want to progress, definitely you want to be able to put your products inside yeah, the yeah. supermarkets or right, any. So any you need a, a halal certification. So you know, he has a point where if the meat. Which is very important in our daily um, meal and daily diet. If they can fake these halal things, what about other stuff? Other stuff, yeah. yeah. Dude, can you imagine so, Maggie the halal? I be eating Maggie every day, bro. <laughs> I, can you imagine what Shout else? Shout out to all the Maggie people. <laughs> Maybe Maggie can sponsor us. Maggie, Maggie can sponsor us. We can have a good Maggie here. Maggie curry, Maggie ayam. No, but but to Maggie. but to be honest, yeah. Imagine that. Yeah, the look. things that we don't know and hasn't been uh, found out. Yeah, I understand, and I understand Jim's point. So like, it's like a they call it in terms. It's like you opening a floodgate. Bila you know mm-hmm. you are not halal on the meat, so orang akan macam oh shit, okay. You are taking bribes to get all this halal certificate for me. How about, you know, the tea that I'm drinking, the coffee that I'm drinking, or like, you know, how about chicken meat? Like, is there corruption there? Like, am I eating halal chicken? So, got a question. You be, you become, it it becomes questionable. Yes. Your integrity becomes questionable. Yeah. As a government body, so like, to me. You need I, to fix this. I want to question why. Uh, okay, I'm no expert lah, but. Yes, I think there's a reason why they're not releasing the companies responsible yeah. for all this. Yeah. Why yeah. do you think so? Maybe it would cause havoc, panic, or okay. maybe yeah, there's point. something really, really internal. Maybe that's but why they are called cartel, lah, yeah. 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 Maybe they, they have to be big, but they. Well, we are discussing about it, <laughs> so it's gonna be in the general public view. So yeah, yes, but, 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 you know. I mean, you, who's doing this investigation? I think the first step is to release the names of all the suspects, lah. Yeah. I, I don't know why they're not doing that. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I'm no expert in all this stuff. But so yeah. you wouldn't call out any? No, I mean, that you know, not call out. No, no I don't think no. we should do that, lah. Because, because we, we don't have a factual basis to yeah. call out anyone here. Yeah. So so far, like if if the news keep on progressing. But and then there's you know people that is being you know 
convicted because of the ni crimes mm-hmm. we can probably upload another but, one but you, you guys have seen on twitter everybody wants to know siapa siapa yeah, why, why why they so so basically but, that's why yeah. it's something that is going on behind the scene yeah. which the government doesn't want to to uh, let people know yeah, we yeah. want to know do you want to know? Of course, I think yeah. everyone, I think we can agree everybody wants to know. Yeah, I mean, imagine bro, every day makan no, nasi lemak, nasi lemak kangaroo. Gila <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> nasi lemak tu dia bro. Tak ada depend, korang nak makan kangaroo saya kan sebenarnya, tapi nak ambil soalan. Tapi memang tak akan dapat lah soalan tu. Nak sate, so aku campur kan dulu. Sate kangaroo. Bloody hell. But, but they, they make shoes out of kangaroo, so okay. why not eat it? <laughs> Uh, let's choose them. Bro. <laughs> okay, but oh, okay. What I can say about this, okay, um, there's a, there's an article that you know I'm gonna pull up here, but this is more a bit on the political side. But okay, the reason why we're pulling up this is I think this is an opportunist move from our former ex prime minister hmm. Najib, uh, making a statement: "Meat cartel scandal did not happen during the end time." Forty years. So, so, yeah. Years. So forty years. To me, this is more okay. This is I don't want to talk so much about yeah, this yeah. because this is just a political move. Mm. Bagi aku, yeah. and I think this is such a cheap move for you to make mm-hmm. when people are already putting facts out there that it has been happening for forty years. But is he trying to defend anyone? Like, no. Yeah. Is he? Is he? Trying? Is he? Because he should so know. Why are they not releasing? Correct. All and then now he's he just said that BN blah 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 huh? BN scandal did not. Happened during BN's time. Are you trying to defend anyone right now? Yeah, forty years what? Nineteen seventy yeah. Since nineteen seventy. Yeah, but yeah. I'm sorry, Najib. You get you are cancelled long yeah, sorry, time. Sorry, nineteen eighty. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you, you are, are cancelled long you time. You are up on the can- so cancel culture. Your, your views are cancelled. Nobody cares. Sorry, yeah. so I go. <laughs> okay, but let's not go so deep in the political. Line. Like now, okay, let's talk on the. Okay, we in order for us to conclude it, I want. All of you guys, your opinion on, like socially and ethically, what is happening now? What do you guys take on it? Are you guys disappointed? Are you guys, uh, you know, angry, like or just frustrated with what is happening with this main issue? So we can start with G. Like we make it quick one. Like just to conclude on it. Like what what is your feeling when you read it? When you read it and you look at it, come. Like what do you feel? Yeah, it does question the whole integrity of the whole the government body. Government body, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I mean, that's, I mean, when I look just at meat, I don't look at meat, lah. So you're talking about the halal, the thing, the halal stifai and whatnot. So mm-hmm. what about other products? You know, mm-hmm. there are also other products that we also we look for, or whether it's halal or ni. So for me, I think if they cannot come out. With her, I mean, they cannot put anybody responsible mm-hmm. right now. I guess it has to be the government body lah that has to take this responsib- yep. responsibility. Yeah. You know, because they are not naming out any of the big players that are supplying all these meat. Yeah. You know, to us. Yeah. But what I I'm pretty sure if we dig deep lagi kita boleh cari siapa lah. You know, who are really yeah. these big players. Yeah. You know, you if we really want to go, yeah. like, I'm uh, talking about it. Yeah. 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 I mean, so that's yeah. from my point of view, lah. I mean, okay. such a long. All right, uh, Daniel, what is your conclusion? I just want to know how do you feel about all this? I'm, 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 I'm disappointed and shocked. Okay. Uh, when the headlines came out last week, yeah. was it last week? Yeah, it was, yeah. Well, we probably. If, if you and then at the go. same time, I'm very curious to know what the hell is actually going on, mm-hmm. because, uh, and itulah. I think everyone feels the same if you see on Twitter, they want to know. Yeah. But so I hope this process of revealing mm. comes sooner. Okay, uh, how will I use it? Like, please uh, share something. Well, works. now I'm going to be very, very careful about what I'm picking up at the supermarket. <laughs> because uh, to be fair, I don't eat kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Such a cute little creature. <laughs> yeah, okay. disappointed like everyone else. I mean, I would like to believe that Whatever that I buy at the store is the proper thing, mm. is the real thing. And it's the value yeah. that you pay. Now, now I cannot trust the source of my meat products. Yeah. Unless okay. I go to like super high end We're not just talking about halal, right? Because yeah. we're talking about um, I disease meat, yeah? Yeah. 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 Champu, champu and whatnot. Well, so yeah, it's not are, just for. We are feeding our family, yeah. our children. Uh, community, but know. it's for. For everyone. everyone. everyone is, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Akin, okay. um, I'll give you the floor. I mean, I mean, to me, just to wrap it up, it's. it's Put aside the halal haram thingy, 
it's, it's the wrong. main core is corruption. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I read that this government body, if you know, you know, the one that um, gives halal certificate. Just say it. Just say it. Um, <laughs> they, they just came up with a announcement saying that they will step up with their um, enforcement, make it a stricter enforcement and application procedures. But do they understand that the main problem is corruption? It's mm. not about the procedures. The procedures is already very strict. It's so yes. hard to get a halal yeah. certificate. The main problem is corruption. corruption. Yep. Why are you closing one eye on corruption? We need a Batman in this city, man. <laughs> the agree. corrupt and the justice. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, bro. Yeah, no, but give it to you. You know, for a fact, a little corruption happens in China. They get shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I mean, share the videos with you. Guys. Yeah, Maybe we you all watch it. China yeah. instead. We're not going to share yeah. it here because it's too gory. <laughs> but, but you see, okay. during this government, people, you know, you know, <laughs> BNE, Babi, Takut. Uh, ada alkohol jual dekat supermarket Eh takut tak jaga sensitif orang Islam Corruption or? Piss off man Corruption, Corruption you get straight close one eye Oh orang Both uh, eyes lah guru lah keluar bro Guru lah keluar bro LGBT Sajat Come out with me Eh dia bukan laki Dia bukan perempuan lah laki kau ngajar kau Come on you guys are so upset about this thing But what about the corruption? The, the, the corrupt. meat Yeah, yeah. Like Bane bro, we need Bane. We need to go clean the crap. Corrupt. <laughs> but yeah man, I, I'm, I'm okay. just disappointed and um, we need a Batman. Okay. <laughs> and shout out to the Batman out there. Shout out to the Batman. 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 Uh, so, so, siapa yang kaya billionaire ni, you all can try invest in something lah. Okay, all in all, the discussion that we have is basically based on our point of view and the, the uh, articles that we can gather in trusted sources. Yeah. So, but this is our opinion. This is what our generation, uh, I think we are speaking for our generation as well. Because, um, like G said, <coughs> macam, like Megat, sorry, Megat said, um, it, it opens the floodgate. Macam, you will question everything now. Like, is there any such thing as, you know, if I buy this, is this halal or this is not halal, you know? Is it this is me? Is it this is me? <laughs> is it like horse? Yeah. Is it kangaroo jack? You know, like, bro, like, you cannot. You live in, like, that paranoid mentality. Yeah. 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 Unless so, you guys get an answer for that, you know, feel free to yeah. drop in the comment. Blog but wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> say, wait, one, more, one, more thing, one more thing to say. Sorry, I'm going to make it quick. If the halal thing that we think is actually haram, what about the haram is halal? Wow, no, you no. are putting no, my no. inception now. Right, no. Okay, right now you're from Dark Knight, kau pergi inception, aku dah in layers of dream dah sekarang. Right, let me know guys, what do you guys think? Maybe the haram thing is halal. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so, I gotta stop, we gotta stop you there. Yeah. Okay, okay. I can't. We gotta so, relax. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. No. Yeah, guys, All right. Okay. Let, okay guys, I'm gonna conclude this, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Oh, this what? is the Brotherhood Podcast. One one table talk session. Let us know what do you guys think. What is your views? What is your think. opinion? What is your stand on this? And I want to. I want. I really want to know from the viewers. How do you guys really feel about all this situation? What is the feeling that you guys are? You know when you when you read about this. To me, I would say disappointment. Lah. Like to me, I am really. Really, really disappointed. No one's this. happy about this. Bro. Yeah, no one is happy about it. I think but we can all not... unite about this topic. Yeah. Right, you know. So drop a comment. Anything will help us for forward discussion later on. And if you like the video, shout out to the tanda. Marah. Oh, tadi kau dah cakap. Bukan. Okay. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Alright, last but not least. Peace. Think before you speak. <laughs> Think before you.